There's so many different ways you can enter information into Cubasis. You could say record MIDI signal or use the Apple Pen to draw in information. In this quick tip video, we're going to focus on how you can edit the chord buttons and the chord pads inside of Cubasis to very quickly come up with your own chord solutions, which you can then record into your project. Let's go take a look. To quickly edit the chord pad or a chord button, you go up to the top to where the keys tab or icon is, and that will change to pads if you've got pads selected down here. We've got this new window that opens. We've got a piano scroll. We can zoom in and out on the keys just by grabbing these locator tabs. But along the top, we've got chord buttons. Now we can edit them by clicking on the E button. And now we can see the notes that are included into this this chord button right here, which is number one. Now I can deselect notes in the chord by clicking on the ones that are shadowed out. I can add them back in again just by clicking on them. And we can do that for all of those 10 buttons there. We can also turn on note repeat, which will repeat a note depending on the time that we've got selected over here on the right hand side. Same if we hit a chord. If you want to go a bit crazy. So that's there if you need it. If we go over to the pads section, you can see all the pads and there's a lot more of these. Once again, we could hit record and play a pad. But to edit the pads, we go into the edit section. And now on the left hand side, you can see your root note or the actual chord note. So this is F sharp, but if I go to C, now this is C2, that's the note it's starting on. If I wanna move it up an octave, I click on the three and the four and the five and you see that changing. So this is our octave section here. On the right hand side, we've got the chord type or the chord color. So at the moment, it's a C minor seven starting on C4. But let's change that to a C major or a C major seven. Pretty cool. Now, if we wanna copy all of these settings now to another track, we just select copy all. We can go back to another track. So this guy, for instance, go to pads, go to edit, and paste all and that will paste that new chord straight in there. So that's all pretty easy. Over on the left hand side you'll notice for some of the tracks you've got a modulation wheel and a pitch wheel and it depends on what you've got selected as to whether they actually work on the track itself. You can also go to something like a drum track and then go to pads and then hit edit and here we've got a kick so edit and now we can move and find another type of percussion sound that we can use inside of the track. So that's all very easy. Editing pads and chord buttons is really quick and fast.